Hi there. Thank you for choosing to take this course. I'm absolutely convinced that if you have any interest whatsoever in trying out Django, that this course will be a fantastic platform for you to explore and grow. Obviously, I'm making a few assumptions about you as a developer. While these are not prerequisites to this course, it would be helpful for you to know who I think I'm talking to during these lectures. Some of my assumptions include that you have a background in WordPress or development in some capacity, that you have a basic understanding of programming principles, specifically in web development, that you are keen to further your career in web development by exploring other languages, and of course, that you are not afraid to get your hands dirty in some code. With that being said, I feel that it is important for us to jump right in, as the best way to learn is to do. To give you some context, I am using a text editor called Sublime Text for all of my code in this course. I am also working on a Mac, which should have Python and PHP pre-installed. If you are working on a Windows PC, and you do not already have Python installed on your PC, you can download and install Python from python.org forward slash downloads forward slash windows. Something else that will be very important is the command line. Again, if you're on a Windows, some of your commands will be slightly different to the Mac terminal. Because using the command line is such an integral part of Django and web development as a whole, I'm going to be working with this quite a bit. Although I'm going to be going through it at a walking pace, so you should be able to have no problems following along, it could also be a good idea for you to familiarize yourself with basic terminal commands to the point where you feel comfortable navigating between folders before continuing with this course. In this section, I would like to focus on the main differences between PHP and Python. And although I know that WordPress has an emphasis on the event cycle, hooks and filters, as opposed to object oriented principles when it comes to the basic implementation of functionality, whether it is in a theme or a simple plugin paradigm, I'll be discussing WordPress in the context of object oriented programming to fit in with Python and Django as opposed to the other way around. 